What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today is actually another PlayStation 4 requested video and that is what to do if your PlayStation 4 is not turning on. Let's get right into this. So if your PlayStation 4 is not turning on, sometimes it is an easy fix, and that's what we're gonna be checking out today to see if for you, if it is an easy fix, or if it is a bigger issue. Now, it isn't as scary as it sounds with your PlayStation 4 not turning on. Sometimes it is something really easy that is causing it to not turn on. So let's get right into this and get started. The first thing you're gonna to want to do is unplug the power cable. You're gonna wait 30 seconds, and you're gonna plug it back in and try to turn on your PlayStation 4. This is considered a soft resets and for a lot of people that does work now if it didn't work for you don't worry that just means to go and try the next thing which is to power cycle your ps4 and trust me it's not as scary as it sounds and it's super easy to do so what you're going to want to do to power cycle your playstation 4 if the first step didn't work is to unplug the power cable this time you're going to wait 20 minutes before plugging it back in with your playstation 4 still unplugged after the 20 minutes you're gonna press and hold the power button for five seconds, then you're gonna connect the power cable and try to turn it on again. Usually by power cycling it, that is the most common issue for why it is not turning on. So by waiting the 20 minutes after unplugging it, then pressing and holding the power button for five seconds and then plugging it back in and trying to turn it on. For a lot of people, that does work. Now, if that didn't work for you, the next thing to do would be to try a different power cable. For me, for all of my consoles, I always have spare power cords and also extra HDMI cables just in case an issue were to arise. I do have the stuff home so I can try different cables. So definitely try a different power cable and see if that does work for you. If that didn't work, I would try plugging your PlayStation 4 into a different power strip or an outlet. Sometimes you might not even know it. Maybe that outlet blew a fuse. Maybe that power strip, the breaker is not working and the surge protector broke. So now the power strip is not working at all. So I recommend checking, uh, trying to plug into different power outlets to see if it will turn on. Also testing the one that you are using and seeing if other devices work in it and it's not just your PlayStation 4 that is not working. If that's not the issue, then you might have to open up your PlayStation 4 and clean out all of the dust. Now, sometimes if it is severely overheated and clogged up with dust, sometimes it just won't even turn on. So definitely make sure that your PlayStation 4 is clean and there's no dust. Open up your PlayStation 4, clean it all out, take out your PlayStation, uh, the fan, then you're gonna want to clean out the heat sink. Sometimes that can really clog up over time. You're gonna wanna clean out the fan, possibly replace the thermal paste while you have it open and see if it will turn on after doing all of that. If that still hasn't worked and your PlayStation 4 still is not turning on, there still is a few other things that you can try and one of those is to try inserting a disc. So for the PlayStation 4, if you try to insert a disc, Usually if it is working properly, it will grab that disc, it will pull it in and turn it on all in the same motion. So if it's not turning on by the power button, then you may try putting in a disc and seeing if it will pull the disc in and turn on as it should. If it doesn't do that, then you might have to open up your PlayStation 4 and test out the power button, making sure it is connected, or also checking out the power supply and seeing if you do need to replace the power supply. I know one of the issues with the PS3 was the power supply all of a sudden would stop working. The PlayStation 4 is very similar. Sometimes the power supply in the PlayStation 4 will not work, and sometimes that will need to be replaced as well. Ultimately, if none of that did work, that means it could also be a hard drive issue. So if your PlayStation 4 is not turning on and you tried all of the previous steps, simply take out the hard drive of the PlayStation 4 and with the hard drive out, now try turning on the PlayStation 4. If there is an issue with your hard drive and your PlayStation 4 by removing it, you plug it back in and it turns on, then you know it is an issue with the hard drive and not the whole PlayStation 4 itself. If it does turn on and the hard drive is not in it, you will need to replace the hard drive before you can play and use the PlayStation 4. If it still doesn't work, there could be a bigger issue, either something with the motherboard or something just not connected right, and I do recommend taking it somewhere to be repaired. That is very unfortunate if you did try everything and it still doesn't work, but that is the only other solution, is 
just try to take it somewhere to see if they can repair it and get it to work. Hopefully one of the previous things that I did mention did work for you and hopefully your PlayStation 4 is working now. Unfortunately for some people, if they even if they try all the easy stuff, sometimes it just still will not work. But hopefully one of these did work for you. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.